Hey everyone, Bella Care here with KB Trek. Hello. What are we doing, Han? Well, we are just exiting Animal Kingdom. We are going to find the bus for Grand Floridian, head over there and get some lunch for, at the Grand Floridian Cafe. We're not sure where you're going because you haven't been to the resort. <laughs> That's, you're gonna eat at if you're going for dinner. The boards are great. We're looking for 12. And as we leave Animal Kingdom, you can see these white tents that are still here. Uh, those white tents were set up for temperature checks, which they just got rid of this last week at uh, Walt Disney World. Uh, so that kind of helps move the line a little bit faster. Our ride is here. So we have to put our mask on because we need to have our mask on when we go in transportation or buildings. Feels good to actually sit down with some air conditioning and get the load on my feet. Uh, a couple months ago, I hurt my ankle, and so it's kind of a little ooh, something that I walked. Uh, in case you're wondering what I did, I'm over 40, so I just had to breathe, and I hurt myself. Made to the Grand Floridian. It was about a 20-minute bus ride, uh, which is one of the longer ones between two places, I'd say, for the Disney property. Uh, this is a beautiful resort. This is actually on Carrie's bucket list for a place to stay at some point. Yes. Uh, got close to on this trip. There was a there's a deal that we missed out on, but anyway. All right, we're gonna walk into Grand Floridian and get up some lunch at Grand Floridian Cafe. We've got reservations in about 10, 15 minutes. And I actually just got the text saying we can start checking in for it now. Awesome. As you walk in, they have a couple of uh, interesting things here. They've got a classic Cadillac. It says a 1929. And then there's a white carriage. Walk in into the Grand Flow. Hello. This really is a grand, beautiful lobby. Goes up several floors. Beautiful chandeliers. And once by the time they had live musicians who would play here, unfortunately, due to COVID, one of the yeah, one of those things that had to get cut. We are looking for the Grand Floridian Cafe, which we were told is in the back side of the lobby. Uh, should be down this hallway. To the left, and we found it. Here is the Grand Floridian Cafe. And next to that is the Park Fair. Carrie has already checked us in to our reservations, and she's checking out the menu right now. Yeah. We were told our table's ready, so Carrie is checking in. They just sat us kind of near the front. It's a nice little uh, cafe, pretty low key. Just finishing up our meal at at Grand Floridian Cafe, which is through those doors behind us here. <laughs> uh, um, what you think, hon? Um, I thought it was good. I love. Well, I guess we should start off with what we ordered. Um, we we split a couple of entrees, so we split the lobster thermidor burger um, and also the chicken and waffles. Talk and about the burger. Yeah, the burger, it, it was good. I, I loved the lobster and the like the sauce on top of it and came with uh, French fries with that were really well seasoned. Um, the fries, the only downfall was the fries I felt kind of got cold quickly. They were served warm, but they were kind of like the thicker cut potatoes, so they, they cooled a little quicker Stay than... Cut. Yeah, um, but they were really good. They had a great flavor, so I just still kept eating them. <laughs> and the chicken and waffles were great. Um, maybe some of the best fried chicken that I've had. Um, and it was served on a Mickey waffle. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't see it, it was Mickey because the chicken was on top, but no, it was a Mickey waffle. Very good, it just everything kind of blended together with the flavors and everything. I didn't quite understand chicken and waffles until a couple years ago when we went to Atlanta, and now I, I totally get chicken and waffles. Yeah, no, <laughs> but both were, both were really good. Yeah. Both definitely would recommend. Um, we just had, you know, sodas then to drink with, yeah. but uh, everything was really good. Uh, so everything we got two sodas and the two entrees and it was about fifty eight dollars yep. pre tip and for Disney prices I would say that's very good particularly since this meal was so good. I was gonna say it was you know? very good. The portions were large. Yeah. I mean, I'm your burger was like at least a third. Pound it was a burger. third pound, third pound burger. And a yeah, big heap of lobster. It wasn't just like one little piece on there to say oh it's lobster no i mean it, it had a was decent a, yeah. decent amount of lobster on top of it and it was a large <clears> chicken <throat> breast and it's like they kind of deboned it or whatever so you could eat it with a knife and fork uh with the waffle so you didn't have to pick it up and get your hands all covered in the, <laughs> the sauce and everything. very good will we do it again oh definitely Absolutely. this is fantastic very good so 
Anything else you want to add about this? No, I just, think that's other it. Other than it was just very good. It was very good. Oh, we, we want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. If you've been watching KB Tricks, please do us a favor. Like, share, and subscribe so you know we're out there. And stay tuned for our next video because we're heading over to Magic Kingdom next. Until next time, good luck and have fun. See ya.